Hi everyone, this is Love Crafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my July calendar divider into a shaker. And for the month of July, um, Lovely Planner has come out with something so adorable, so cute. Can't wait to share this with you. I can't wait to put it together. And here it is. <sighs> Can I say, oh my gosh, how cute is this? I can't wait to put this one together. I'm excited. I love it. It's a unicorn and it's celebrating um, July 4th and I love this. So continue watching to see how I put this together. So here I already cut out my images. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the back of one of them. And I'm going to be very gentle of going around making sure all the edges are um, glued together nicely because once um, I put this inside this um, sleeve and then put the glitter in, I don't want any of the glitter to go in between the two images. So here I'm going to go ahead and stick them together and then I'm going to go get my other little image of the hats. Now for this one I have to remember that I cannot glue the entire thing because I need to place my paper clip inside. So I went and got my paper clip and sort of give me an idea where to stop with the glue stick. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and put them together and then I'll just glue the edges because that's um, I don't really need the edges. I just want those to be glued. I need the middle to be opened. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead, bring back my first image and then go around it and trim any edges that need to be a little bit trimmed off. And then once I'm done with that, I will go on to the next step. Now that I'm done cutting, I'm going to go ahead and work on the calendar divider first. So here I am putting into the paper protective sleeve and then I'm going to get my fuse tool and fuse um, the first edge here. Now I'm getting really good at using this tool now, I'm getting the hang of it. So I'm actually getting really um, quick on this. So as you can tell, I did one strip down on the first side and then I'm going to flip it over, do it again on the second side and then I will get my fuse. Uh, not my fuse tool, but this tool, it's, I think it's called a bone tool or something, where um, you just put it in to check your edges and it's so much easier than using scissors because before I felt like I was opening it more with the scissors. But um, I'll go ahead and use that tool to check the edge, making sure there's no openings. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, uh, I didn't have to redo that anymore, just at one time and that was done. So I was like, great, off to the second part. So here I am going to go ahead and move my little guy to the corner, making sure I have some space. And I'm gonna do the next side here here and of course I'm gonna do it again one side first flip it over and again another um, swipe down and then after that I'll put in the glitter Now that I'm done fusing my edges, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glitter in here. Now I'm gonna use just this red sequence, but then I felt like I should add more of um, something else. So I went and got this other uh, glitter blue one, which I thought was a nice color. And then I went and got some kind of white translucent glitter. And I put a little bit of that in there. And then once I shook it around, I felt like it was really nice, the, the little combination of all three in there. I didn't wanna overdo it. So luckily it was enough and enough just to see the nice glitter, but also enough to be able to still see the calendar. Now that I'm done adding my glitter and sequins, I'm gonna go ahead and seal the top part. And as you know, I'm just gonna be a quick little run down here. Just one swipe down, flip it over, swipe down again, and then get my tool, check to make sure everything is sealed tightly. And if this is, then I'll go ahead and trim the edge. Now 
Now that I'm done with the calendar divider, I'm going to go ahead and work on the paper clip. And here I am going to use the fuse tool tip of that's pointy. This fuse tip is so cool. It actually fuses the pages together and at the same time cuts it out of its area. So I love that. Uh, once I'm done with this part, I will go ahead and use my scissors to cut off the excessive part that's at the bottom where um, it's going to stay open for me to be able to put um, the paper clip as well as the glitter that I'm going to add in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of this blue glitter, which I think is really nice. And I'm going to put it in both of the sides of this paper clip. So I'm going to put just a little bit here, just tap it in a little, and then I'm going to flip it over and do a little bit more on the other side. And then once I'm okay with how much I put in there, I'll then go ahead and get my glue gun, put a little bit of glue on the paper clip and put the paper clip inside. Now that I'm done with the paper clip, I'm going to go ahead and seal up this area with the glue gun. Just put a little bit of glue, making sure that none of it is open so that any of the glitter can come out. Then I'm going to get my red paint and go ahead, nice little edge of the red paint all around it. Um, this um, covers up that glue gun area that sometimes sort of sticks out and also any imperfections from when you use the fuse tool sometimes the edges are not very smooth so this helps it not only covering up those little mistakes but also gives it a pop of color So here's the final look to put together the calendar divider and paper clip and I think it came out super cute. I really love this. This one just came out really nice with those three color uh, glitters that I added in here. I think it was perfect and it's so nice and it's so fun to look at. And paper clip too, I wanted to make sure I also added um, embellishments that went with the printable itself. So for instance, um, for the glitter inside I wanted to use the blue, the paint for the outside is the red and the paper clip is white and it came out so cute which I love so I cannot wait to put this in my planner I hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time